What if you could learn a language instantly, or even stream music directly into your brain? Can we transcend the barriers of our biological limitations and harness the untapped potentials of the human brain? The ambitious entrepreneur Elon Musk thinks we can. Enter Neuralink, a revolutionary technology designed to merge artificial intelligence with the human mind. It's a groundbreaking initiative that aims to redefine our understanding of human capabilities, driving us towards an era of superhumans. Musk's Neuralink is not just about transforming human potential, it's about shifting the paradigm of our entire existence. How far has this technology progressed? What does it promise for our future? More importantly, are we ready for such a profound leap forward? Elon Musk, known for his game-changing ventures like SpaceX and Tesla, unveiled Neuralink in 2016. This ambitious project intends to bridge the gap between the human brain and artificial intelligence using advanced neurotechnology. The human brain, an intricate network of about 86 billion neurons communicating via intricate electrochemical processes, is the most complex known structure in the universe. Capturing this complexity through technology is a daunting task. Neuralink's central component is a chip known as the Link, which is designed to be surgically implanted into the brain. This chip, smaller than a coin, houses over 1,000 thin, flexible threads that can monitor the activity of 10,000 neurons simultaneously. This level of interaction has never been achieved before with brain-machine interfaces (BMIs), and the implications are massive. The Link could read and write neuronal data, enabling humans to interact with computers and AI seamlessly. It's a leap towards enhancing human cognition, making us effectively symbiotic with artificial intelligence. The potential of Neuralink is vast and extends far beyond just a technological novelty. In the medical realm, it's poised to revolutionize treatments for numerous neurological conditions. The brain, as we understand it, governs all our bodily functions. Therefore, any impairment, like neurodegenerative diseases, paralysis, or even mental health disorders, can significantly impact one's quality of life. Neurodegenerative diseases, like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, can occur when neurons in certain parts of the brain malfunction or die. Neuralink's technology could potentially monitor and stimulate these affected areas, mitigating symptoms or even halting disease progression. Beyond the therapeutic domain, Neuralink brings forth the possibility of cognitive enhancement. To understand the magnitude of this claim, consider this. The average human brain can process information up to 60 bits per second. But what if we could increase that bandwidth a thousandfold? With Neuralink, the concept of superhuman cognition might not remain in the realm of science fiction. We could see a future where acquiring a new skill or language could be as simple as downloading it directly into your brain, a stark demonstration of Musk's vision for this technology. The potential of Neuralink is profound, with its capabilities reaching both medical and non-medical spheres. Consider the medical field, where Neuralink's brain-machine interface could transform our approach to neurodegenerative diseases, like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Over 10 million new cases of these neurodegenerative diseases are reported each year globally, and the numbers are on the rise. Current treatments mainly manage symptoms and slow progression, but Neuralink's technology could potentially halt or even reverse these diseases by stimulating damaged areas directly. Similarly, around 15 million people can suffer from strokes worldwide each year, and for survivors, the journey to recovery can be long and challenging. Neuralink could accelerate this process by aiding in the recovery of motor skills and restoring communication channels in the brain. Neuralink's promise extends beyond medical applications. In a world where information is the most valuable commodity, the concept of cognitive enhancement could redefine our approach to learning and skills acquisition. Currently, the human brain's processing power is estimated at around 20 petaflops, 20 quadrillion calculations per second. If we could tap into even a fraction of this power more efficiently, what would that mean for our learning capabilities? Could we download languages or master complex skills within minutes? The implications are revolutionary, promising a future where the limits to human potential could be drastically expanded. Despite the awe-inspiring possibilities that Neuralink presents, it is crucial not to overlook the potential risks and concerns. This groundbreaking technology involves the implementation of a foreign body into one of our most vital and delicate organs, the brain. The procedure, similar to neurosurgery, involves inherent risks such as infection, inflammation and possible tissue damage. How do we ensure that the risks do not outweigh the benefits? What we also don't know are the long-term effects. How would a device like Neuralink interact with our brain over time? Would it lead to unanticipated neurological complications? And what happens in the event of a device malfunction? 
Considering that the device could potentially control certain cognitive functions, a malfunction could potentially lead to severe cognitive or behavioral changes. There's another consideration of psychological impacts. With enhanced cognition, will our sense of self and identity remain the same, or will we experience a shift in personality? The prospect of boosting cognitive abilities is enticing, but what will be the cost on our mental health and interpersonal relationships? These questions underscore the need for comprehensive research and ethical oversight in the development and implementation of Neuralink's technology. The journey to this integrated future must be dealt with caution, responsibility, and a thorough understanding of possible consequences. As we continue to delve deeper into the fascinating world of Neuralink, the information that follows could be considered the most critical part of our discussion. It will encompass not only the ethical and societal implications of this breakthrough technology, but also explore the potential challenges and the future prospects of this groundbreaking invention. So stay tuned as we dive into the most compelling segment of this journey. The advent of Neuralink and its remarkable capabilities brings to the fore a myriad of ethical and societal implications. Our thoughts, feelings, memories, and experiences, which have always been our most private possessions, could potentially become accessible, raising profound questions about privacy. If thoughts can be downloaded and possibly even manipulated, how can we ensure the protection of mental privacy? Is there a risk of these downloads being intercepted? paving the way for a new form of identity theft or invasive advertising. The potential for hacking a human brain, once a purely dystopian concept, could become a real and troubling reality. With cybersecurity breaches becoming increasingly sophisticated, what safeguards are being put in place to prevent malevolent entities from hacking into our minds? Accessibility is another pressing issue. Will the advantages offered by Neuralink be available to everyone, or will they be limited to those who can afford them? The creation of a socio-economic divide based on cognitive enhancement could exacerbate existing inequalities and lead to a society stratified into enhanced and non-enhanced individuals. As we stand on the precipice of this rapidly advancing technological future, we must ensure that technology acts as a tool for inclusivity and equal opportunity, not as a catalyst for division. In Greek mythology, Pandora's box released both good and evil into the world. Similarly, Neuralink's technology might be a dual-edged sword. On one hand, it harbors immense potential for good, curing neurodegenerative diseases, restoring lost functionalities, and boosting human cognition to unprecedented levels. The prospect of significantly enhancing our capabilities and overcoming neurological disorders is undeniably appealing. However, on the other hand, it raises complex questions about identity, privacy, and equality that we, as a society, must confront. Will cognitive enhancements change our sense of self, our personalities, or our relationships with others? Will they alter our understanding of what it means to be human? Moreover, the potential misuse of this technology could lead to unforeseen problems, just like how the internet, while revolutionizing information exchange, also gave rise to issues like cybercrime, fake news, and privacy breaches, Neuralink 2 could have unintended and far-reaching consequences. Despite the myriad of questions and concerns, the development of Neuralink continues at a rapid pace. Musk envisions future trials involving human participants, opening the possibility of refined prototypes and concrete applications. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the vision of humanity's future is being rewritten. With Neuralink, we're not only spectators to this technological revolution, but active participants. As we navigate this uncharted territory, it's essential to ensure that the technology we create aligns with the values we cherish. Elon Musk's Neuralink offers a thrilling peek into a future where the human brain and artificial intelligence coalesce. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of our relentless pursuit of progress. As we tread this path towards a future intertwined with technology, it is crucial to maintain a dialogue about the ethical and societal implications. The possibilities are awe-inspiring, but they must be tempered with a sense of responsibility. After all, technology, at its best, should not just push boundaries, but also respect them. We hope you loved today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any video in the future. See you next time.